Let's, let's take a look at how we have different names for this thing that travels from space to potentially the surface of the Earth. So we all love watching things shoot across the night sky, right? In fact, we've come up with some pretty cool names for them. Shooting stars, falling stars, you may have even heard us refer to them as fireballs. But all of these terms aren't really accurate. In fact, a shooting star is anything that's just entering the Earth's atmosphere and beginning to burn up because of the friction of the Earth's atmosphere. Now, this could be something that's man-made, like a satellite or some other debris, but it can also be something from space. Now, if it is from space, it's called a meteoroid, and that's something that's a small, rocky, or metallic debris that's traveling anywhere in space. If that meteoroid begins to enter the Earth's atmosphere, and because of that friction, begins to burn up, and that, that's the streak that you see across the night sky, that's when it's called a meteor. Now, if that meteor is able to survive the passage through the Earth's atmosphere and make it all the way down to the ground, that's when it's called a meteorite. In fact, NASA estimates that around 48.5 tons of meteoritic material make it to the Earth's surface every single day. They don't have to worry about that hitting your head. You got to remember that 70% of the Earth is actually ocean. So not a huge concern, but still kind of cool. Uh, also, our next meteor shower, at least a good one to be able to see, is the Perseid meteor shower, and that will peak in August. 